Hello everybody, it's been a while, but welcome back to another reaction video. I'm Jamie, and today we're gonna to be reacting to the newly revealed 17-inch limited edition Mega doll from Hercules 25th anniversary, so let's get to it. And before we start, I'm Jamie, and I like to make toy videos here on my channel, so make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell if you would like to stay tuned for more toy video content. It has been a while since my last video, and it took Meg to pull me out of my slumber and back into making a reaction video. This would be the second kind of limited edition doll for Meg. The first, as we all knew, was the Midnight Masquerade doll in 12-inch format. All right, so uh, before we get into the doll, so the basic information is obviously she's, she's going to be retailing for $130 US. Um, she is limited edition of 7,200, so it's considerably low compared to um, Kida, I suppose. Kida is still in stock on the Disney store as of now as we speak. Esmeralda was 7,000, so this is more around the range of Esmeralda. And I think this is a pretty decent amount for us to easily get anyone who wants her, so that's good. And now for the release date, at the time of making this video, I haven't found anywhere that mentions the release date. But just to throw around a guess, maybe I'm thinking end of this month or maybe next month because Hercules's actual anniversary was on June 13th which has already passed so if they want to do it within this month it could most likely be end of June I'm hoping end of June near payday because I have no doll budget left for this month so I'm hoping for an end of month release or early July that would be ideal and one more thing this is quite exciting because the other day I got an email notification that Shop Disney is now launching in Singapore, Hong Kong, I think also Taiwan, along with Australia and New Zealand. In fact, this photo was first posted by the uh, Shop Disney Australia and New Zealand page, I believe. So that's quite exciting. I mean, like when I was living in Singapore, all of, uh, the only thing I wished was that Disney store would ship to Singapore or have a Singapore Disney store. And now that I'm no longer in Singapore, they're like, boop, we're shipping to Singapore. But that's another story. But right now, let's dive right into the doll. Okay, so this is the photo. So this is the photo that was posted. So in the background, you can see the faint, the clouds and the signature Hercules swirl um, art style. And she is just lovely. Okay, face and hair. I really, really love her um, face paint. I just love the eye makeup. It's so purpley, like different shades of purple. And I just love it so much. And I love her lipstick color. And I love her brows as well. It's very signature Meg's brows. And the face paint for this, I love. Because for the Midnight Masquerade doll, it, she had more of her, her iconic kind of sassy look. And this one also has a little bit of sass, but it has a bit of more, I'm kind of in love. I'm imagining this face paint around the scene like, I won't say that I'm in love. And one more thing on the face sculpt. Obviously this is a different sculpt because it's a different size, but it resembles the 12 inch sculpt so much. Like the other girls also have similarities between their 12 inch sculpts and then their um, the 17 inch sculpts, but there's always like a big difference that you can tell. But for her, I can't even tell they sculpted an entire new sculpt or they, they just scaled it up in the computer and you know, it was the same sculpt, just bigger. I don't, I can tell because it'll, they'll look really consistent, which I love. And, and you know me, right? I always clock about the dolls having side eyes, but for her, this straight eyes really do work. She still has the expression and the life and the personality and the sass, even with the straight eyes. So straight eyes win in this case. And for her hair, of course, she has her, I don't know what color is this, burgundy? I don't think it's her. It's like a very brown, purpley kind of shade. I don't know how to call it. And then she has a headdress in her ponytail, which looks like metal chained links of some sort, like maybe laurels because she's Greek. That's really beautiful. And her earrings, they, they look like different on each side. Maybe it's just like in a little bit of era for this stock photo. Maybe the other one is just looped. I don't know. But one is shorter, one is longer. So that's something. So for the bodice part, um, I love that little additional, I don't know what material is that, the little two flaps, it could be velvet or something, I don't know. But the underneath, the lines, the darts, and then the line that runs across under her breasts, they look very movie accurate, which I like. And then the little straps too. I like the change in the straps that they did. Instead of a fabric strap with their little kind of circly oval things, they change it to a completely chained link kind of straps, which I really like. I hope they're actual metal. 
and the other one goes around the, the other shoulder like that. Oh wait, but for her skirt, she also have a shawl, like a really pale, shimmery, see-through shawl with these gold foil printing patterns. And obviously that's why I said it's based around that particular scene because she had a shawl after her, you know, day with Hercules and that, and, you know, that little balcony kind of thing. So I like that. I just wish that it was a bit longer. Now moving on to her dress. So this is where it gets really interesting, which in a good way, right? Because for the Midnight Masquerade doll, they kind of went with a different approach of a, uh, um, a dress that flares out, very westernized kind of style. But for this one, they kept it very movie accurate. She has her accordion pleated kind of layer underneath and it looks like it's see-through. And then on top, she has the main part of her skirt with these gold embroideries along the border and there are jewels and I just really love the patterns like there are even some floral swirl patterns in there as well that's really beautiful and I wonder what her shoes are gonna be um, I really hope she has a new feet that they introduced with Esmeralda I really like that especially since she's supposed to be wearing flat shoes like sandals in the movie so I really hope she has like actual lace-up kind of sandals like um, the Mattel doll did back in the 90s. That would be really beautiful. And on the back, the, the skirt does have a little bit of train effect that kind of spreads out. So that's nice. And topping everything off is this, her signature, I guess, like a wrapped belt kind of thing. I'm not sure if it's a separate piece or it's stitched together with the dress. I don't know, but I love that. It does do a, a nice job of creating that kind of ruffled wrapped pleated kind of little sash is what i the word i was looking for and the sash has a little metal brooch uh, fastening it Ooh, that's pretty and then it has these chains and the chains have also have like little little somethings in between so i wonder what are those but i am loving it again i've uh, said it many times on my channels i am a sucker for trains flowy stuff and chains so and one final thing is she is holding an accessory so that's really cool because back when these dolls started the dolls it was like um a signature thing for them to come holding like an accessory snowy had her bird Rapunzel had her brush, Tiana had Naveen, and then they kind of started phasing out the accessories. Like one of the, the biggest things I can't forgive Disney is that none of the Ariel Limited Edition dolls come with a dingle hopper. Like, I, uh, never mind. <laughs> so she's holding an accessory, so it looks like a sculpted little plastic flower, and that has like a handle so that uh, her fingers can hold it. So um, it's an interesting approach that they went with an all kind of sculpted flower. I would have loved it to be like an actual little flower, like the original Bell doll, you know, it has like an actual little stem with a wire inside and the flower had actual petals. So that would have been really cool if they were able to do that. And I think that's a flower that Hercules gives her before he flies off with um, Danny DeVito. So, but in the movie, I thought, I think that was white. But maybe they change it to purples to better accommodate her overall color scheme. So yeah, that was my uh, reaction on the limited edition Meg doll that is coming soon. I can't wait to find out the release date. So here is just a look of Meg in movie form, Midnight Masquerade, and the limited edition doll. And I think uh, both the designer doll and the limited edition doll is equally beautiful in their own ways. And I regret it so much that I skipped on the Midnight Masquerade doll. I still want her eventually when I have money. I will go after her. But now I will not miss this chance and I need to grab this 17 inch Meg doll. But one final thing, just one final thing. The only thing I wish differently on her is that I wish they would have incorporated that flowy long chiffon cape from the Midnight Masquerade doll on this doll. Maybe I'm just a sucker for trains and flowy fabric, but that would have been really beautiful. It would have been icing on the cape with this little thing flowing behind her in this dress. Or they could have just made that shawl longer. You know, that would have been really nice. That's the only thing I wish differently. But aside from that, she is perfect. Oh, and I almost forgot. She also has several bracelets on both of her hands. So they do look like the normal um, bracelets that... Kida and Esmeralda wore, but this little swirly swirly pattern um, bracelet looks like it's a new sculpt. 
I think that 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 one hasn't been used before, so that's nice. All right, so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think of the new Megara doll? Do you prefer this one or do you like the Midnight Masquerade one better? So sound off in the comments below. Once again, thank you so much for watching. You can also check me out on Instagram at Shamie Creates for more toy photography. Once again, if you enjoyed the video, please like, thumbs up, and subscribe. It'll really help out my channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye.